when you heat treat tool steel parts, air hardening, and you do a foil wrap, you want the foil to be essentially airtight. So that means you want real crisp, crimp, crimped edges to prevent that airflow. Um, so not a uh, hamburger wrapped by a meth head teenager at McDonald's. You want nice, crisp, uh, folded edges because that helps seal any air from getting in. Now, I also um, put in uh, a brown paper bag um, from your local grocery store because that brown paper bag will oxidize and burn any oxygen, uh, which causes scale. If you are going to heat treat your own parts and wrap them in stainless steel tool wrap, make sure that your daughter keeps uh, your shop well stocked with band-aids because if you're dumb and you don't wear gloves like you should, inevitably you will need one. Check to see if your hot pocket is molten lava and if it is, then it's ready. Okay, now the parts are cool, we're going to do a double draw to temper them back. But first we're gonna check and see what the as-quenched hardness is. Okay, we're gonna check Rockwell on a couple of samples. Um, this is a old, like pre-World War II Rockwell tester. Uh, when I have it calibrated, um, the technician reminds me that it is probably the oldest one that he calibrates and yet he is always amazed because it always calibrates. So what I'm saying is you don't have to buy fancy new technology. Uh, this machine is 80 plus years old and still works just fine. So we'll check a couple of samples here. Just to see what we got for as quenched temperature or hardness. Okay, that one is 61 and a half. And that one's about 60 and a half or maybe 61. Okay, so we've completed our double draw. And so now we're gonna check and see what the final hardness is. And based on the temperature and time that I did, it should be about 54 to 56. Okay, that's 55. And that's 56, 56 and a half. So it's a little high, but still acceptable for what we need. 